Hi guys, in this video I will walk you through uh, our free digital planner for 2024. Uh, so uh, when you download uh, this digital planner from uh, our website, the link is in the description of this video, at the beginning you will be given some instructions on how to download the demo version of our sticker wizard. So uh, this is weekly and monthly dated uh, digital planner for the full of 2024 and the extra bonus of uh, this digital free digital planner is that you can try our sticker uh, wizard tools uh, and some of some of those tools uh, those were uh, would be our uh, word stickers note stickers and shape stickers uh, so within this uh, digital planner uh, uh, you will be able to try that but first uh, let uh, let me just walk you quickly through the process of uh, installing the shortcut that enables you to use these tools. Uh, so uh, right here at the beginning of the planner, you have this install sticker wizard button. Once you click on it, it will open uh, the shortcut and you need to set it up. Uh, the passcode is already typed in, it's my daily planners. So you need to click next. Uh, if you do not use GoodNotes app, just click here and choose another default note taking app that you use. Uh, so here, uh, choose, uh, so we will choose, of course, um, GoodNotes and click Add Shortcut. Uh, I already have it installed here, I will just say Replace and that's it. Uh, the short shortcut has been installed. Now, uh, these three icons in top right corner are some of the sticker wizard tools that you will be able to um, uh, try from this digital planner. There are many more tools available in the full sticker wizard version and the sticker wizard uh, Full sticker wizard is integrated into three of our digital planners so far and you can look them up on our website by clicking on the button here So when you click get full sticker wizard uh, You will be taken to uh, the page where you can uh, see all of the available uh, digital planners uh, so these three and after that there are some additional uh, sticker wizard template sets that can be imported into sticker wizard and uh, we will be adding many many more of these sets uh, by default in these three digital planners you have plenty of available um, um, uh, sticker uh, presets that you can additionally customize with any word, any color, etc. But also you can buy many, many more uh, that you um, that you like, that you prefer, and add into the sticker wizard. Uh, so let's go back to Good Notes. And uh, now, uh, once you have installed sticker wizard, uh, here is an important note. So uh, these icons for sticker wizard are available on every page of the planner. Uh, when you run each of these tools for the first time, you will be asked to allow a certain permissions and every time you allow a permission, you need to restart uh, the shortcut app. This is something that started happening only with the latest iOS 17 version, so before that, uh, this installation process was much easier now, not only with our shortcut, but with any shortcut, if you need to allow some permissions, uh, you simply need to restart the shortcut app in order for it to uh, work properly the next time you run it. So now let's run uh, our word sticker. I will just walk you through this, so uh, stay with me. So uh, only the first time you will be asked uh, for certain permissions. Here you type your word or phrase that you wish your sticker to be for. But um, of course, the first time uh, you run it, you need to uh, allow and say always allow so allow certain permissions now what happens is that the shortcut uh, will uh, like freeze you just need to open um, the shortcut app and completely uh, remove it uh, completely close it then go back to good notes and then run the tool again and now when we say hello Here is our sticker wizard. So, uh, how sticker wizard works? Um, there is, of course, a full, full tutorial and explanation if you purchase the full version. Here in this demo version, you will be able to try only a few of our, the templates and see how they work. So, for example, if we choose uh, this template, 
Uh, of course, uh, only the first time you are asked for certain permissions and it will be once or twice for each tool. So we have to go uh, here like this, completely close the shortcut again, go back. It's a bit tiresome, but once you do it, you go through this the first time, it will not happen again. Hopefully they will uh, fix this issue uh, with the, the next uh, iOS updates. So stay tuned for uh, future updates. This is something that globally happens with the um, shortcut app. It's a current issue, but hopefully it will be resolved. So uh, here, when you, uh, you've you typed your word hello and chose the template, what you can do here is you will see uh, here in this template, we, uh, four different colors are used. And you can, of course, uh, adjust any of these colors to your liking. So. Let's write the hello differently, like this, and let's change the color of this background. So you will get a completely new sticker every time you um, change these parameters. So for example, we have uh, a sticker like this. You need to confirm uh, what you have chosen and then click done. Once you click done, you will be all uh, uh, again asked for some permissions but only the first time, now you have this um, message that tells you that you can paste your sticker. And here is the sticker. Very cute sticker. So after you went through this a bit painful process for the first time, next time you run the word um, uh, sticker tool, uh, you can write something and the sticker wizard appears. Let's choose this one and let's change the colors. So as you can see, <clears throat> so you can get a completely different sticker every time. <clears throat> so much fun. Okay, confirm and done. And it will just say here, paste your sticker. So once you went through the setup process, like it is, every next time that you use the same tool, it will be a breeze. So let's go through the same process with the sti uh, sticker uh, tool. Uh, we have given you here a couple of options of our sticker tool to try out. So for example, let's use the tracker sticker, always allow. Of course now it's frozen and we need to close it completely like this so let's close it let's go back and click on the sticker tool choose the sticker here is our sticker what sticker wizard here allows you to do uh, with sticky notes is awesome so you can remove corners if you do not look like cor corners you can adjust the font size if you like it, you know, smaller or bigger. This word tracker here, you can write something else. For example, habits or whatever you wish to track within the week. You can flip the days so you can start with Sunday, Monday, or, or it can be blank if you like. The row size, if you need more space for writing, but also the column size, so it gives you more space to write. And what's the best part here, you can add rows. So you can track as many habits as you like within a week. This border can be there or not. And of course, <clears throat> all of the colors can be changed. This is the color of the background of the sticker. So it can be any color and it can have shadow or there. Uh, there is no shadow. And you need to always confirm and then click done. Of course, <laughs> we all uh, again have here always allow. And we can paste our sticker. So here is our weekly tracker sticker. Awesome. Finally, uh, in this demo, we have a shape sticker. What we can do here is we can import a picture into a shape, or we can adjust any of these shapes on their own. But what's even better is that we can import the picture into a shape. And here I have photos of my cat, for example. Here she is. 
always allow when this freezes the first time or the second second time sometimes let's just remove it and run it again again import into shape let's find our cat yuki here it is so here's yuki we can reset the shape so it's only the shape but you can adjust um, stroke size opacity color of the stroke i mean you can go nuts with these settings there are so many settings um, for the shape tool we can completely remove these strokes and we can reposition the picture we can scale it i mean there are so many fun options with these we can have stroke we can have um, some shadow and the depth can be adjusted and let's remove the stroke and when you are done just say confirm and click done always allow and here it is let's paste our sticker so basically um just be, please be patient when installing the shortcut for the first time making uh, allowing all of these permissions and restarting the shortcut app uh, a few times because this is a, i believe only a permanent uh, uh, i mean temporary <laughs> ios issue and uh, it will be fixed with um, some future updates we really tried to um, find a solution for it but it's simply a current ios um, issue but once you've allowed all of the permissions you won't be asked for anything again you will just be able to freely use these tools Aside from these tools, of course, um, here in this planner, you have calendars for 24, 25. You have monthly planner pages. And if you click on the circles here that are week numbers, you will be taken to a weekly page that you can also freely use from this planner. Um, some of the templates here are available like a finance tracker, um, some notes, uh, templates and list templates uh, if you wish to use all of the other uh, pages in this planner like uh, there are uh, a bunch of other monthly dated templates and uh, also a bunch of other weekly templates and many many additional uh, templates for finance productivity information wellness etc uh, for that please um, follow the link here on the index page and you can shop for uh, the full version of uh, the latest Boho Planner that has um, uh, links to Google and Apple Calendar that will enable you to set uh, notifications or schedule events in Google or Apple Calendar direct directly from this planner. Uh, we have introduced uh, this feature uh, last year. We were the ones who, you know, uh, invented this way of connecting digital planners in a way to uh, Google and Apple Calendar. And aside from that, um, in this Boho Digital Planner, there is the full version of the sticker wizard. Uh, that's very, very, very fun to use. Um, for each of uh, these tools, you have uh, many preloaded presets and you can get additional ones if you like. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments and enjoy in your a free digital planner for 2024. Bye!